morning all. Uh, hope you're well. Uh, how's the bird spotting going? Uh, I've been impressed by some of the pictures. Very jealous of Charles seeing uh, his two woodpeckers uh, the other day. But I'll try and be short this morning. I realised the last couple of days I might have been a little bit long. I apologise for that. But the subject has been uh, quite riveting. And that sometimes comes out uh, with the amount of material. Let me read a few verses from Luke's Gospel. This is what Jesus says. Then he said to his disciples, Therefore I say to you, do not worry about your life what you will eat, nor about the body, what you will put on. Life is more than food, and body is more than clothing. Consider the ravens, for they neither sow nor reap, which have neither storehouse nor barn, and God feeds them. Of how much more value are you than the birds? And which of you, by worrying, can add one cubit? to his stature so there you go our bird for today the raven remind ourselves from genesis that god had created all these birds according to their kind interesting point that i was thinking of this morning as we look at the news and we hear of some tragic things uh, going on in our world. The birds were made according to their kind, but humans weren't. There was one man, one woman, made before God, and so all the humans of this world have descended from them, all stamped with the image of God, all precious in his sight, all equally loved. The same rain falls on them and the same sun shines upon them and God provides in exactly the same way. Anyway, the ravens, it's the birds we're here uh, to talk about. This big black bird, this uh, carrion, again, it'll eat uh, almost uh, anything which is why it's listed amongst those birds that we mentioned yesterday as not to eat. But it was the first bird mentioned in the Bible. You can picture Noah uh, on his ark and the waters are on the earth. It's stopped raining and the first bird he sends out is a raven and it goes backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards until one day it doesn't return i know it's a, a horrible thought but it was probably feeding uh, on the bodies uh, in the water and was and was thus satisfied uh, in that however in our verse god says consider the ravens solomon in his song of songs referred to them as uh, beautiful what does he say he said his head like the finest goals his locks are wavy and black as the raven degree of majesty uh, to its design but it's the thought of provision that god refers to this particular raven and tells us to consider the ravens and how god provides for them it's interesting isn't it that god uses ravens to provide for elijah when he was uh, at that brook fear, uh, fearing his life uh, from jezebel what a miracle that was that god was use a creature that would scavenge food and hoard it for itself to to bring it to him you see in that circumstance god was in control and he reminded elijah that you know, even the impossible is possible with God. The ravens uh, are quite interesting birds. They seem to even kick their young out of their nest before they're almost ready uh, to feed. Such are they 
uh, with their food. And so we read several verses in the Bible that, that God talks about, even when the young ones, referring to the young of ravens, cry and wander about for lack of food, God says, I provide for them. We must remember that God is a God who provides. Jesus said, consider the ravens, for they neither sow nor reap, which have neither storehouse nor barn, and God feeds them. God doesn't say to us, look, don't worry about getting food. It'll just appear to you one day. No, he says, don't worry about the acquiring of the food because there is ample provision and I will provide. I look at my birds on the feeder uh, this morning and the birds didn't put the food in the feeder, I did. But they still had to come and gather it and collect it. Maybe this is what James is hinting at when he says that faith without works is dead. Yes, we have faith in God to provide, but we must not be shy in gathering our food and working for it. It's interesting over this lockdown and people are worried concerning the coronavirus and rightly so. And there are those who, who think, well, God is great. He will protect me from this virus. And he will, and I believe he does. But it's a fool who doesn't think that maintaining two metres di distance and staying away from somebody who's got it is a good idea. It's the whole scenario with when we're not well, we pray for God, for healing. But he's a fool who doesn't go to a doctor who's got a remedy that can help him to cure it. Faith without works is dead. So this morning, as we go about uh, our business and we go about our, our lives, we have faith in God, but at the same time, we're told uh, to be wise. We cannot work for our salvation. We learned yesterday that it is a gift of God, lest any man should boast. But that, that faith without works, is clearly dead we seek to do what is right we seek to glorify him so i pray today you'll have a good day consider the birds think of uh, the ravens in the bible and may the lord help us to bless him learn from him and be safe in what we do this day let's pray heavenly father guard us and keep us protect us Use us, bless our families, protect our loved ones, we pray. Help us to be wise. Help us to trust in you. Help us not to worry, because what does that add to us? But rest in the assurance that our God will provide. And like with Elijah, sometimes they are in the strangest ways, but he still cares for us. Bless us this day, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen.